Finding Coronavirus Research. Welcome to the Ranching Through COVID-19 web series sponsored by the University of Wyoming Extension. We know that this global pandemic has disrupted daily life for many Wyomans, including ranchers, but we also know that agriculture is essential business. With the upcoming spring and summer season, we want to offer some timely information to keep our Wyoming ranchers and range managers on the cutting edge because we know that ranching doesn't stop, even in a pandemic. Today, we're going to give you some tips to help you find research about the COVID-19 coronavirus as it relates to your own specific questions and concerns. We know that many folks are feeling overwhelmed by the media with information about the current pandemic. Sometimes you might want to read the actual research about this topic. Being able to do this is important for society so that citizens can be more informed and empowered. Unfortunately, academic research can be hard to find, difficult to access, and difficult to understand. The mandate of a land-grant university, such as the University of Wyoming, is to help our citizens overcome these hurdles so they can apply the research to their daily lives. In the current COVID-19 pandemic, the accessibility of research is improving dramatically because many people want the research to be more rapidly available and propel us to solutions more quickly. Now, one of the most reputable journals, Science, has made all related research freely available, as you can see here on their homepage, and many other journals have done the same thing. A resource for finding research that everyone should be aware of is called Google Scholar. Here you can see the homepage for this website. At the bottom currently, the section titled Articles About COVID-19 has links to many of the top medical research journals and publishers. That includes things like JAMA, which is the Journal of the American Medical Association. Now it's important to note that Google Scholar is freely available and it functions a lot like any search engine on the internet and the website is scholar.google.com. Now when you go to the main page, all you have to do is simply type in your question or just the topic that you want more information about. Now let's walk through an example of a question and we'll give you some more tips to more specifically get dialed in on the research that's relevant to your concerns about the current pandemic. Let's say your question is, can animals get coronavirus? Now when asking this question, it's important to note the many different names for the current virus. Coronavirus is actually a general term and can refer to many strains of such viruses. Many of these have been around for a long time, such as bovine coronavirus, which you can actually buy vaccines for for calves. Therefore, it's important to more specifically note COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2 or a combination of terms so you get information about this current strain of virus. Now, just a quick side note for the bovine coronavirus, which we mentioned earlier. This was first noted in 1973, and this is not the same as the current COVID-19 virus, which is novel due to its mutations and its zoonotic and contagious properties. Now, here are the details that are provided by the Merck Veterinary Manual that explains this is an occasional problem in calves, and it's really been around for a while. Okay. So back to our hypothetical question, can animals get coronavirus? Once you hit enter, you can go ahead and sort the results by time on the left here, and we'll click since 2020 so we get the most current research. Now the second result here sounds pretty interesting, so let's check it out. Here you can see a paper published in the top journal Science that looked at the susceptibility of a suite of animals to SARS coronavirus 2, which is just another name for COVID-19 as I mentioned. Now the results in the abstract, which is the paragraph at the beginning that I always read first, say the virus replicates poorly in dogs, pigs, chickens, and ducks, but that ferrets and cats are permissive to infection and specifically cats to airborne infection. Okay, let's now consider that instead of typing coronavirus in your question, you typed COVID-19. You will now see that we have a different set of results. Again, the second research result here sounds interesting, so let's check that out. Now, what we found here is a paper that reports two cases of dogs contracting the virus in Hong Kong. Now, for example, if you want to see the full paper here, you would need to click the PDF link. You also note that this paper is free. Now let's go ahead and click that PDF link. 
Now we can see the entire paper and you can read the details about these two reported cases of dogs contracting the virus. The point of all of this is that by using the suite of terms that can describe the current viral situation, you can find a greater abundance of relevant research results. So how do you know if the research you're finding is quality work? Well first, you can note which journal it is in. Here's a list of the top 10 medical journals in the world. You might also want to look at the author's affiliations and see what university or medical lab that they are affiliated with. Currently, Johns Hopkins University and the Center for Disease Control or the CDC would be really great sources of information as well. We hope this information is important and useful to you and that it will help you explore and understand this rapidly evolving body of research of COVID-19 coronavirus. By reading the original research, you can become a more informed citizen and more able to make sound decisions. Please send us your suggestions for other topics you'd like to see us address. Hello, this is Barton Stam with the University of Wyoming Extension. I'm a range management educator based in Thermopolis, and I do most of my work in the western part of Wyoming. Hello, this is Derek Scasta. I'm an Extension Range Management Specialist and an Assistant Professor um, at the University of Wyoming based in Laramie, and I work statewide on issues related to range and livestock management.